What happened last time we streamed, right? They died. And now I've come to heaven. But you never die and all the blocks are free. Welcome back to the twitch.tv slash the Asuma where we are not playing on the Hermitcraft server. This might look like Hermitcraft, but it's a creative world. And inside of here, if we get over here, is this. And today, we're going to work on that, which is around it. Aha. Uh -huh. Crow Chris, thank you for your four months of support. Greatly appreciated. Lucaro, Crow Chris, Forgill, Sunny Zero, The Thinky. These are not just names that I'm saying. They're people who have thrown bananas in my chat. Thanks for letting me know that we're live. Yeah, so I kind of got a little bit stuck in with uh, building what's going to go around here. I've got like a vision, an idea. It goes, it goes a little bit like uh, the kelp farm again. It goes a little, a little off, a little curious of its own design, but I like that. Do you know one thing I should really do actually is just kind of measure up the height difference quickly. Uh, we need an axe to do that. Mm-hmm. And then we need to drop down and say from there. So there is 21 blocks. I would have guessed higher. What's poppin' Asuma? Says Elamoni Piggy Utube. Uh, what's poppin'? What's, what's poppin'? What's poppin' off? I don't know. Just chilling out building. See, that's 24 blocks. So this thing is like already like higher, which means the minecarts will go up instead of down. I pictured them you know, going down to like this level, but I think there's plenty of space for what we're building. Let's do another quick uh, measurement while we're at it. Hmm. Uh, I guess possibly the best way to do this one is to just go that block, right? There's probably like one extra in that direction. And then there's probably like three or four. So that's like 23 blocks. Let's just say we need about 30. Because we don't want to, we don't want to accidentally. Hey, we've just been raided. Welcome all the raiders. There's a false alarm in my chat. I was like, why are you telling me it's a false alarm? Oh wait, this means something. 32 blocks from there to there. I think we've got more than enough space for things to look good when they all come together. So good to do some double checks. Thank you so much for the raid, false. Really appreciate it. It was nice to bump into you earlier. Uh, Forgill, 96, in for 24 months, saying two years ago I was gifted a sub. Never would have thought that I would stick around for this long, nor that the time would fly by this fast, nor that I would become a mod here, nor that I would find good friends in the community. But all of this has happened now, and I do enjoy the time here on LPMT way too much. That's so good to hear, my dude. You know, the, the generosity of a random gifted sub and something like that can happen. Whoever gifted you that sub, I hope they know. I hope they know. Um, Billman, 68, thank you for 64 months. Appreciate it. Evil X in the chat. Hey, I Love Cats is in the chat. Good to see you, my dude. Good to see you. Don't suppose you'll be able to give any advice on building a bridge that connects two towers. My experience with bridge building is limited in this game. I, I would try and find reference material of something like you're describing and try and find a few different examples to like focus in on what you want to achieve with the build. I mean, it depends a lot on the context of what style and theme it is. You know, if you've got something like uh, rustic industrial, you can probably get away with a bridge that's got lots more uh, edges and pillars and, and whatnot. And then if you've got something that's a bit more elegant and low key, uh, you might want something more humble like a stone bridge. It, there's, there's a lot of context, right? But thinking it through, might just be you know what you need to hear you gotta think through the build somewhat um so currently i've been struggling a little bit with the roof design uh, there's there's many phases this has to go through many different bits where you go okay now we're going to focus on this area and we're going to come back over here and change that um, i'm not terribly keen on what i've done so far it's kind of like the best i can do the bit where it's starting to come apart a little bit is this roof now this divider here almost works. It kind of works from one angle, not so much from the other, but that's the quirk of the build. I wonder if I could actually... 
might be able to get away with actually shifting that over and having it so that this is actually wider on one side. Like, why does it have to be like that? So that's a possibility for that bit. Then it's about, like, where do I go next? So I'm pretty set that that side is good. This side looks wonky, though. So I think what I might do is uh, abandon these trapdoors. And then I could have the sandstone go through here. And then the next bit could be higher. That would then also offset this where it's aligned. And uh, to be honest, like just immediately that don't look right. That's probably not what I need to address. It's something else here. I can't quite put my finger on it. Eno, uh, 510, thank you for 11 months. Fox from Neverland, thank you for four. Thanks as always, peeps, for the uh, support. It's appreciated. Hope you have a, a good relaxing time hanging out here as we do Minecraft, right? Creative style. Those markers, by the way, were for me to try some other things. It's just, you know, maybe maybe I need to focus on other things, but it, it's just missing something. And I think I have an inkling as to what it might be. It might literally just be how these sections are just not raised up. I kind of don't like where they align. I move them up by one, like at least there. I mean, that helps it a little bit. Can't be said that it doesn't. Let's undo that. Maybe, maybe you just need like the one line here to keep getting higher. Then I feel like we're probably just sort of passing the buck. That makes sense, like that bit. It, what, what this really needs is like a another material to contrast it and to add some lines but I mean unless I'm brain fighting it actually no I tell you what there is other green colors they're just very inaccessible for me although uh Jim's gonna have that shop for this stuff soon it's probably possible to work in another green with this it's just all the sort of greens I don't quite have access to Hmm. So yeah, when you're not sure what to do, don't don't stick around with it for too long. We want something else. Simple Rock, thank you ever so much for subscribing. Greatly appreciated. We got Lord Cryptid here for 11 months. Captain Puffy is here with a raid. Dang, double raided. Got raided by False. Now we're being raided by Captain Puffy. Thank you so much for the raid and welcome all the raiders. It's a Puffy raid apparently. Ah, Sunny says, oh my god, Dream SMP. So, we know you're Minecraft, we know you're from the Dream SMP. Cool. Um, some of you out there might have heard of Hermitcraft. I am not on Hermitcraft at the moment. Um, you might recognise some of these builds. I'm on my own creative server with a part of the Hermitcraft world. Just figuring out, um, you know, what I'm going to do. What I'm going to do for a future build. We've done some redstone over here for a minecart loading and unloading uh, job that's going to hide inside of a tower. We were doing some industrial building with our build palette, which, by the way, is uh, sandstone and the different netherwoods. I'll show you this build over here. This is my uh, favourite bit that we've done so far this season. Cats is here for 68 months. That's Evil X. Saying, hey, X, I've gone AWOL for a bit here. Uh, hopefully, hope to slowly come back to being active in your streams and with this amazing community. How's life and stuff? Uh, life is good. I can't complain. There's been some tricky times as of late, but... That's just life with the way the world is since since 2020. So, uh, so you know, I'm hanging in there. I'm hanging in there. It's a crazy world. Or I really want things to come back to normal. But I've been just, you know, enjoying uh, my motions. And cats, if you didn't know, I um, posted some new music on the Soul Side Eclipse channel. So, if you want to hear some songs that I've made, uh, there's that. And I'm, you know, I, I've said so many times over the years, I want to get back into it. I, I really do have like actual proper plans in place this time around to get back into the music. You can see as you approach that this lack of symmetry here really does sort of unsettle. And I've deliberately tried to incorporate more of that um, less symmetrical nature. If I really wanted to like go ham on that, I could put that there as well. And then it just gets broken by where this roof lands up. And I'm not... Not really so 
what you need is maybe like hmm I mean it almost looks better but like then you look closer and you're like maybe not uh, we got EXCKTH here for nine months that's a twitch baby I get to press that button again and we've got FX Oons here with some cheers and bits saying love the mechanism in the kelp farm design that's what I like about your content creating thinking outside the box thanks cheers my dude that's really encouraging to hear because that's what I'm trying to achieve a little bit less of the build the same old thing over and over again and more of the you know let's be creative let's just do stuff different and uh, this is an extension of that there'll be more of it in the future that's for sure uh, I got a hot cup of tea here by the way I need to drink it I have not hit record today what is wrong with me always got to record the streams Mr. Nurse Ratchet thank you for seven months we also got another raid chosen architect thank you so much my dude dang it triple raided right here at the beginning of the stream today what are the odds I don't know well, welcome everyone. I just literally a moment ago gave a uh, a tour of like what's been going on on Hermitcraft. Oh, God, that's some good hot tea. Maybe too hot. Demonic Orca, thank you for using the Prime subscription on me. Greatly appreciated. So what we're doing is uh, trying to figure out this build. I'm struggling with the roof. It's, it's one of those things like I keep staring at it and when you get stuck in like the staring at it mode you need to move on and come back to it so uh, what we'll do is now focus our attention to this bit here because once I've got that down much of the top area is done and we can move on to some of these bottom bits uh, let's change up our build palette I want to put some blocks down here might look nice if that's actually smooth all the way through sort of saw them as you know what actually if they're support struts then what I've used previously for support are these two blocks so we should probably follow and create a little bit of uh, continuity there maybe even put in uh, a fence post with it yeah not really sure that makes any sense now on one side this is going to be open for minecarts to go through and on the other one it's not. I kind of like the idea of creating a picture in that space. Nakanari Dragon, thank you for 23 months. Seraphic Nova, thank you for the Prime. Greatly appreciated. We've also got Bear818 for some months. Proper proud of this community you got here. Oh, I guess you're alright as well. Thanks. I'm alright, am I? Community's good. You're alright. <laughs> Appreciate it, Bear. Yeah, so... We use the golden thing on the other side. And like if I just if I place some blocks, I then get the opportunity to go nah, which is better than doing nothing. I mean, I feel like I could get away with that cuz it's so fantastical looking. It looks really nice up the top there. I do wonder if uh, a circle would look a little better here. This means I've got to go caving for uh, lots of gold, right? That definitely looks miles better, so we'll keep it. Then on this side, I don't think that's the way to go. It's uh, perhaps some walls, I mean... I don't like the idea of it being on either side. There's just very little space to operate with, so it's... It's kind of not giving me much of an idea of what to do with it. It's funny, I thought, yeah, let's get on and stream this because I was just like in a zone the other night when I was working on this. You never know when you're going to get in that zone though, right? Like it just, it kind of comes and goes. So let's say much of this is done and I can start to copy it around. Uh, if we were to focus on the tower here, one of the big things we need to do is change the sandstone into our, uh, our gradient. But also, honey blocks. Hey, what a great suggestion. Uh, Maestro, thank you. Honey blocks, they're very golden. They're also see-through, so you might need to put something else behind it. I mean, it looks okay. It, it really needs to be used a little differently than that. It's just such a small space. Um, I'm going to leave them there because I want to come back to that idea. So, the idea with what you're seeing here, we're going to need our world edit tool. 
is that these are a couple of platforms and then there's a tower that leads you up to the top area. So, hmm. Uh, this, this one here, I feel like probably needs to be higher. I don't know why it's so low, uh, but what we'll do, and I think what I can do is get away with this. Okay, somehow I managed to press the wrong thing. Yeah, so a little bit of that. Right, all the way over to here. So you can see I put in some stairs and the stairs go lower than the area. So I can I can actually do this with like any selection at this height is what I've realized. So I don't know how it defines where the first thing I select is. Let's say we go with that. And then we'll have to just do the next one over here. Let's use the honey blocks. And we'll give it a good three, I think. Yeah, that feels that feels uh, maybe a little too big, actually. We'll go two. Hello? There we go. Huh. So now, I think we would be able to do the same thing again at this level. So if I select that... Come over here and select this. Now the idea is that it'll go all the way down, so it's probably going to be more like seven, I think. Almost got it, it's going to be eight. So now you can see we're, we're working with quite a large area. Uh, is this, yeah, it's all at the same height. Need to drink more of this tea. Anonymous, thank you for gifting a sub to Sir German. Appreciate you doing that, my dude. Thanks for the gifted sub. The tower looks kind of top heavy, says Garrett. I agree. But it's, it's part of like the charm that I'm going for. It's supposed to be like that. It's a, I feel like it's going to fit the build style we got more than the industrial thing that I was going for. Right, so with this being the uh, like the floor level now, our staircase will go something like this, and then I don't know if I should add a staircase. Is there isn't really room for one there. Is that what I feel like it should be? Is a like a path round to here, so then you got like an entrance and that is all capable of disappearing. In fact, we should get rid of it. Uh, how far across can we come? Down to here? Yep, all of that's gone. So can this. So we have that. And then potentially at the same height or higher. Yeah, it's got to be higher, hasn't it? Wow, I miscalculated that. So yeah, you go... In at that level, walk around the corner, and then you go up and down and come out over here if you want to as well, onto this platform, and yada yada yada. So, uh, this is mostly just going to be like flat in here. Probably grass, but we'll, uh, we'll, we'll pick some blocks and whatnot. Let's see, where do we want to bring you to? About here. Might be a good idea to think about the uh, block palette already. So like coarse dirt. Then regular dirt. And then maybe path blocks. Hmm. Packed ice. What's it called? I don't know what it's called. They made it so you could hold it as a block. Dirt path, right. What happened here? So yeah, um, better to do randomization, not with that, but to structure your randomization. But I, I kind of feel like I'd like a, a bit more of a visual clue at the moment as to where we're going. So 
in that case we'll leave like patches of that in in order to give us the prompt of like this is the direction it's going in right same again And then over here. Yeah, that's pretty that's pretty awesome. Cat says when you don't put percentage, does everything equal? I believe so. I believe the default is just equal distribution without percentages. Brown concrete dust, that is potentially something we can use. Rooted dirt would be another one, actually, but we're, uh, well, actually, I don't really want to farm a lot of rooted dirt. We're a long way from doing that. So this will be a more gardenous area, and then up top, I think, needs to be more, uh, like, structured, air quotes. So, uh, hmm, what could that entail? Uh, let's whiz all the way over here. So about there, so that's going to be, like... Oops, set, stone, and a site. And then maybe some... Hmm, tough. Yeah, a bit on the rough side, but I wanted to just throw in a few blocks for inspiration. Grab that. Do this bit. I wish gardenus was a word, says Sass Muffin. We are now declaring that it is a word. Some good tea, some good tea right there. Peeps, if you're enjoying the stream, be sure to hit the follow button. My uh, next one's going to be a little bit different. We're it'll be on Friday, I believe. We'll be um, on Hermitcraft, doing some farm building and designing, sort of. You'll see. You'll see, I've got something cool planned. I mean, kind of cool. I don't know, it'll be good. We'll make it good. Yeah, so we build a couple of entrances that go up, and uh, there it is. So I feel like the next step, oh by the way, considering this is very flat at the moment, like when we place it down over here, it won't be flat. Hmm. I will probably end up doing a lot of terraforming around it or something like that. So, we need to like add extra, like some of this is going to be custom and some of it I can kind of figure out ahead of time, if that makes sense. Anyway, let's, let's get into it. So, stripped, then stripped birch. Um, hmm. I need to remind myself what I used. I think it was then smooth, then sand. MacEmp says, why is Asuma good inspiration? Answer, don't follow the crowd, make the crowd follow you. Uh, don't know about that. I would say, like, inspiration is uh, seeing creativity or watching... Well, yeah, just watching others be creative is generally inspiring, right? So, you tune in if you're getting inspired. It's because you're, you're coming into that space. Uh, what am I trying to type here? Sounds... Stone. There we go. That's that's kind of like my blend, I think. I think actually I used to do it that way around. There you go. X, why don't you make your build on the definitive spot instead of midair? Because I don't know where it's going to go here. It might get rotated. Like, now that I've got more of the build, I could actually make the leap. Um, I thought... Do you know what? I could actually just make the leap. Now, for preservation's sake, I was chatting with Scar, and he was saying to me, like, keep iterations of all the... Scar, your beautiful tree! I'm so sorry, I have to get rid of it. It's like in the corner, man. I'm so sorry. I'm murdering a Scar tree. Yeah. It feels hideous. These leaves won't decay. They're probably all manually placed, right? Okay, so, like... So like position one, pick up all of this stuff, all the way up to here. 
and then go cut. Right. Problem with that is that we've taken out like the landscape, so undo. And let's come here and do cut. Yeah, again, takes away too much of the landscape. Okay, uh, I know what to do. So we come over here. We uh, pause two. This time, instead of cut, we copy. Right, and then we want to go save it somewhere else in the world. Uh, murdering a scar tree. Very amusingly said. I mean, it happened, didn't it? We murdered it. Uh, Essentia. I'm glad I could have helped in some way. Glad you enjoy the videos. Uh, let's now do the cut. So that time it didn't look like we took away much terrain. So if I come down here. Okay, just do that. Yep, see we've got the right idea. And about here. We'll do the last bit manually, won't we? That's what we'll do. Hey, Fozzie's in chat. It's one of those days, isn't it? Well, you don't want to wake up. No, not one of those days. God, shut up, Freddy D. Uh, it's, uh... It's one of those days where you get raided three times. Cats is here. Fozzie's here. Who's next? James to Jim. We're going to get the old crew back together. Uh, Songbird T. Thank you for 51 months. Saying, hey, exist to 51 months to keep me company while I work. Thanks for being my distant office buddy. <laughs> Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Glad to keep you company. Pulse. 1147. Thank you for 48 months. Rocky Avalon will show up. Yeah, Rocky. <laughs> And an anonymous cheerer is here, doing cheers of all things. Very, very peculiar. Thank you for that anonymous cheer. You missed it. Hang on, how is it that you got a ghost icon next to your name too? Is this like a Twitch thing? You're down with LGB. I'm down with LGB, but uh, LGB's more middle new... Actually, LGB goes back as far as like season three, but... Uh, Within our community, Cats and Rocky and uh, James to Jim and Fozzy, they're, they're old school from back in the uh, plot world days. Is he in creative on the Hermitcraft services, Toe Shred? Doesn't even direct the message at me in my own chat. Oh, doesn't want to talk to me. Has to ask other people. God. Um, no, we are not on Hermitcraft, as you might suspect. Okay, so pause one. Now, POS2 needs to be a bit more accurate. I mean, how much accurate? Like, like that much accurate. Okay. Um, whoopsie, I did an oopsie. I made it POS2, didn't I? So back up here again. Now, the next bit is going to be super duper awkward because I have to also rotate this. And we got a massive sub bomb. Oh my goodness me, what am I to do? Don't panic. We need to copy, then we need to. We need to rotate. Yeah, no, I need to rotate 270. And then we'll go paste. So we'll see where we put this in. Is an oopsie like a derp, says Moomin Trolley. I mean, peeps, is an oopsie like a derp? And, uh, derp's kind of like a, you know, big deal around here. All right, we've got a massive sub bomb. So if you hear your name being read out loud, be sure to say thanks in the chat. Forever Twerp, D Santiago BC, Popolover 81, B Mitzel Pillick. <laughs> Mo Yolark 81, Mathis Soul, 
Nigel, Arben, Foolis. There are, there are so many names getting butchered right now. It's ridiculous. Destort27, Cars Machi, Peach Parade, Pops Peach Tea, The Fishy, Hairstyles24, Glorious Gladiator, DQ911, Red Hood 62, It's Man 1994, Brittany Diane, uh, A A Sim the Hero, SPC Joker, Legend Launch, Glue is Blue, Justia HD, Link 77, and Jay Pirano. Y'all been gifted subs, be sure to say thanks in the chat. Uh, Gnarizar, I've probably butchered your name too. Thank you so much for the gifting of all those subs, my dude. Greatly appreciated. And Unsure Jack, welcome. Thank you for subscribing with the Prime. Thank you for subscribing with that Prime. Right. So here's how we roll. Right, we come over here. Uh, we've got to have a special block for this. We, uh, we, we, we're going to slap it down and stand on it and then paste, right? Just to begin with, it's going to cause a ruckus. Oh, God, this thing is ridiculously big. It kind of tells me that all of this needs to go lower. Hmm. Ah, oh, it's kind of awkward how I built it. I kind of want... Okay. We've learned some things. And some mobs have spawned. And some pistons have dropped. Invisible creepers! Oh, they're inside. Why? What are they doing in there? That makes no sense. Um. So I think I need to rotate 180. There is a lot of chopping and changing now that needs to happen. Uh, we can do that as well just to make the whole thing... Oh, I see what happened. The whole thing will look a little easier. You see, now, now it looks like the bottom's much better but the top's incorrect oh it really is massive this thing it just doesn't look right next to this so I kind of need to like chop off a lot of it dang maybe we'll abandon actually you know what I think I think there's a way we can make this work actually I think we can make this work it is going super close to Coralis' stuff so okay first of all alignment seems to be pretty good right so it kind of needs to come over by two blocks. So let's go ahead and move it to there. And then run our paste A again. Which is the first of uh, many modifications to be made. So the terrain around here will get changed a fair bit. Unfortunately it makes, makes what I had planned a little uninteresting. Like where the dips are and whatnot. Like now, now it makes more sense to maybe put the entrance somewhere over here. It goes real close to where Corallus is. We can lower this. Hmm. It's just the closeness to that is unfortunate. See, if that were flipped and over on this side, then we could have the tower go further back. So, I'm going to undo that. And I think we're going to have an attempt at changing this thing, which is a lot of work, really. This lyric is the most hardic polysyllabic rhyming scheme. If you can do it, pat yourself on the back. Testing, attention, please feel the tension. Soon as someone mentions me, here's my ten cents. My two cents is free. A nuisance who sent you sent for me. Ah, oh, I'm a rapper. God, I just became. A... Take that, Eminem. Take that. <laughs> Did that pretty good, didn't I? <laughs> Curls, take note. <laughs> if Curls is there, I'm assuming Curls is there. Lyrical boxing says subsurge. Lyrical boxing, in indeed. I'm taking notes, says Curls. Good. Good. That was that was really nice, actually. The uh, the way that kind of flowed. I mean, like, and I just read that, and you know, the the flow kind of came with it. So that's pretty cool. So what I what I essentially want to do is maybe like use the flip command somewhere here. So let's go ahead and perhaps ah, why did it change the sand? 
grab that bit. And this bit. <laughs> I've just realised something. I'm sort of doing a uh I'm sort of doing a uh, yoga pose. What's it called? Uh where you put in one leg, right? You put because I'm standing, right? And I just put in one leg onto my thigh and stand. And it's like uh what they call the pose when you're just standing one legged and you got your foot on your thigh. And you like, put your hands together and it's like a balancing pose. I just... <laughs> I've just been standing here doing that. I don't know why. Tree. I think they call it tree pose. Yeah. I'm literally just doing tree pose all of a sudden. Weird what your body does when you let it... I don't know. <laughs> what, what on earth is going on? Crouching Tiger says essentially... I watched a movie yesterday with this actress in. Can't quite remember her name. But... um. I'm thinking, oh, I really recognise your voice. And then I, oh, she's in Star Trek. She's that captain. And so I go look her up on International Movie Database. She's been in tons of stuff. And she's in the movie Crouching Dragon Hidden Tiger. And I was like, I want to watch this. Like, I want to watch this. Like, I tried to watch some of the old school classic kung fu's. You know, the ones with the Wu-Tang and all that. Um, oh, General Skywalker says, I hate Star Trek. Well, you would, Skywalker, you Hobbit fan. God. Jeez, Tolkien fans, eh? Always defending the rings. Um, Star Trek is great. Like, don't hate stuff, especially when it's... Oh, yeah, Michelle Yeoh, that's the one. Don't hate stuff, especially when it's just a TV show, you know? You might miss out on something if you if you tell yourself you hate Star Trek. I'll tell you. Like, if you like some of the air quotes philosophy that we talk about in uh, in the stream, like, a lot of that comes from watching The Next Generation. Like, that, that show's just... Uh, some amazing philosophical questions baked into it. Crouching Dragon. Is it Crouching Tiger Hidden Dragon then? She doesn't age either, says Essentia. Yeah, that's the other thing. But then that's a, that's more common trait now that uh, the current kind of I don't know how to call it really like health culture or just understanding of diet and exercise has come so long that now like you go and watch like movies from the 50s and 60s or whatever and people in their 40s look knackered they look like they look like they're creeping deaf you know they're coffin dodging but uh you know now you can be like 60 and look young it's it's incredible i mean maybe sometimes there's some cosmetics involved i don't know but uh right now we're going to do a bit of guesswork i'm just gonna just gonna try this and see what happens I think it's going to be quite... Oh, okay. Quite disorienting. So... Okay, so I needed to flip probably west, actually. So let's go here. Copy. Flip west. Paste. That's kind of exactly what I want. So we'll take that shape and move it over to the the thy we'll move it to thy area. Uh-huh. We'll move it to thy area. I think I might also do this in two stages as well, actually. I don't really know where that properly lines up anymore. There's a Twitter account that tweets photos of old footballers when they're in their 20s and they look like they're 50s. Exactly! Yeah! No, it's so true. It's so true. Who's your favourite Star Trek captain? I like Picard, says Palm Tree Dude. Um, I tell you what, when it comes to the captains, the one in the Enterprise show that was a flop, I think is uh, a really underrated captain. My memory of that show is a bit vague, but like, you know, the card's absolutely classic. I never watched the originals. That guy, though, I remember having like uh, like a strong sense of sticking to morals or something along. Captain Archer, yeah. Um, oh, it's so vague. Like, I only watched the season through the once and it was quite a few years ago. 
but I was like, you know, once you finish watching a show, you kind of uh, think back over it a bit, and uh, I thought he was uh, like a really decent captain, actually. Uh, I love Cisco, and it's been a while since I watched Deep Space Nine. I watched through it in 2020. And I feel like there were moments, if I'm remembering it correctly, where they very much like compromise his morality. But I feel like that's the point of his character as well. Um, then Janeway, like I like Janeway, but she tears up the rule book a lot. You know, like on a, not not so much on a whim. Just uh, it's kind of a thing to like tear up the rule book over and over again. I feel like my memory just betrays me a little bit, you know? Like, I, I want to better remember how I assess these things. Anyway, here's what I'm going to do next. I'm going to shift this because it gives us a big flat wall. But, um, yeah, you know, Picard would probably always be my favourite, I guess. Um, and then Cisco and Archer I thought were great. Uh, let's move... Gosh, I'm struggling with the keyboard here. So we're going to shift all of that over by one. Avery Brooks, that's the name of the actor. I was looking it up today because I've been watching Picard, right? Season 2, I almost didn't give it a go. And i got to say, I really, really like him where it's going so far. I've only watched two episodes. But, uh, but yeah. It looks really good. Tra Ode says, Jane Ring's attitude was, the rules are there for a reason, unless they hinder, then okay, break them. Yeah, essentially. You, you can give her the caveat that they're in the Delta Quadrant, right? Like, that's part of the equation, but... Uh, for me, that was, like, always, like, quite notable. So, essentially, I need to, like, move everything over here by one block. And it's probably easier to do this manually as I look at it. Uh, so then it's that one by one. Pretty sure I'm going to mess this up somehow. So you got the two, then you got like the diagonals. It's only that one. Ones like that. Is that correct? Uh, put three. Mm. See, that's that's a seven. So this is wow. Okay, so that's I'm getting it all wrong. Comes out to here. Uh, this stuff takes so many hours to do, though. Like, this this got me thinking a lot about some of the other hermits and how they play and do stuff. Like, some of these other builds that pop up on the server, I'm like, how many hours did you spend? Am I, am I just slow? <laughs> Is that what's going on here? It's like, once you've done this, then you've got to go build it in survival. Oh, don't even get me started. There we go. We get there in the end. So now we got... Yeah, if I'd have known it was going to be this way from the start, I probably would have positioned them rather differently. But let's brush this up a little bit and then move it over there. I think the other bit is just on the inside here. Yeah, we've got like all of this dangling around. Hey, we've got a noise in the ear. We've got Sphinx, STO, here for 22 months, saying oh my, and McJam Weasel is here with the Prime. Thank you so much for the Prime subscription. Appreciate it. Mac G Mania says, the captain from DS9 was probably the most badass of all captains. Janeway was amazing, but Picard will always have a special place in my heart. I think he does in everyone's, right? Such a such an amazing character. Totally made that show.
Hey X, working on packing up and moving on my own apartment. Thanks for providing some nice background noise for the process. Cool, I hope that goes well. You know, I've lived at this house for like, uh, coming on six years now, and... As much as I like it here, I mean, I, I always moved here with the intention of moving on at some point, but... Like, dang, like, having a change of scenery does a lot for you, you know? Alright, so that's probably the most of these blocks that need to be uh, wrangled a bit down there. So, yeah, I reckon this thing's going to get lowered, but let's put in the bottom bit first. So if we start with, like, and if we're going to use... Okay, here's what we can do. We can pause one. Uh, I just had a realisation. Hmm... Yeah, no, we'll be okay. I think, yeah, no, we're going to be fine. Right. Just, uh, just thinking things through a bit. Then pause two here. Now we need to copy from somewhere. I'm just going to sort of get down here in the middle. Copy. Rotate 90 degrees. That should be correct. And then we're back over here again. So, we'll just start with this since it's already here. Wow. That's not very helpful. Definitely need the, uh, the A. Then the next thing... Well, there's several things. So yeah, we're not as close to Corallus now. And if we imagine... Look at that. This thing needs to be lower by like two blocks. So the thing is, we don't really get to enjoy the height of it. It's kind of annoying. I could always dig out the... You know what? I could dig out the area around it a fair bit, couldn't I? And put it in lower down. Hmm... Oh, the things we do in this game just to make something look good. So if I go down like this many blocks, the problem is when I paste it, uh, let's go over the top. That happens. So I kind of, I kind of want to work on the. Uh, you see, the thing is, the blocks are technically still there, so I could shape this up a little bit for my own liking. Now, here's the other thing. I need this to be aligned. Okay, it's five, five. I thought there was one side that was wider. Maybe I changed that eventually. So we can rotate whatever is on top any way we like. Now, forgive me if I'm not mistaken, but are we like very directly in line here? Yes, we are. So that's good. So I wanted to gain a little bit more space in this direction. I can go, let's say, one more block that way. And then a little bit of a dip, some terrain transform around here. Bob's your uncle. So we'll go over here. Paste date. And before we get too much into changing what's below it, let's just double check, right? Like... Yeah, that means all the sandstone blocks are in place, so that's good. Uh, Beans4942, thank you for the prime subscription, my dude. Could you not move the garden this area up by one or two blocks, says Bear? Well, yeah, I can, but that would miss the point, wouldn't it? Like, I'm trying to, uh, trying to create space between the floor and the top of that, so... What we need to do, in fact, if anything, I think looking up there again, I maybe want to lower it another one block. Hmm. What happens now, though? Yeah, look at that. That's not good for this. It'll ruin some of those path blocks that are below it. Anyway, we can come back and uh, address this in a bit. But yeah, we'll have to naturally create a dip around here. 
as part of the wastelands. And then it goes right up next to where Corallis is going to do some building. So the next thing is kind of tricky. We got to create pause one. Then over here. Hmm. Seems about right. Pause two. So we've got to rotate this thing. 270? Hmm. Yeah, 270 it seems. Now... Oh, do you know what I can do? I can switch game modes. That is so... Oh, and there's a block down here, is there? Huh. That is so helpful. I'm going to come down to about here. Here-ish. And then... Copy. Rotate. 270. And then we'll go and see if we can paste that somewhere of use. This tower competes with the height of uh, Scar's tree. It might do. I, I don't think it does, no. We'll see. We'll find out in a second, won't we? So, if I come here and paste, right? I don't think I need the A tag, but there you go. So, as you can see, we've now got a gap, but everything's aligned. So, it's up to us to choose where the height of that is. And now, I think the height is a bit more manageable. And is it lined up? It really should be, and it is. Sweet. And I feel like we gained a lot. A lot from that. It just okay. So now, now it looks a bit odd, right? But I think if we add some struts like this, uh, you know, I mean, maybe they'll need to be a bit bigger and different or whatnot. But I don't know. I kind of picture there being a bunch of struts to support it in places. What do you reckon? Uh, they might need to be a bit thicker, they might need to be of different materials, but that's kind of what I'm pitching for that. Now that height is probably the best I can make it, really. I've got to say, though, it really does feel like that change... Now that, it, like, now that it's less of a tower and a bit stubbier, it really feels like it's... Maybe I need to change the shape, too. Yeah, the amount of iterations you can go through with these projects is absurd, I say. Absurd. So the rails on this end will. They're going to do something like a this. Mm hmm. And then they'll be separate. Uh, what we got on the hotbar here? I kind of want to keep some of these blocks for what we're about to do next. So. Now we've got to measure like a gap. Yeah, and they they actually start at this height here, but they can they can probably be brought down to the edge to do what looks good. So maybe one, two, three, four, five, right? And then that's immediately gonna be thrown off. So like one, two, three, four, five, and then one, two, three, four, five. <laughs> it's not going to be easy. No, there is. Maybe we just move this over by one. Give that one a little extra. So then, then you're going to have this. Let's grab uh, our wand thing. Beans says, how do you play Minecraft for this long? I normally get bored after a while. It's because I've got people like you in chat hanging out with me. It makes it way more interesting. You didn't think that you didn't think you'd be the answer, did you? You didn't think that. So yeah, I picture some structure between the two, like some arches. Oh, that's gonna look really cool. Maybe we go for just two arches, though. 
Oh my god, the amount of planning is just ridiculous. <laughs> I, I can't believe just like how many times you can iterate this. Anyway, here's another thought. Like, do we want to make the thing a little bit higher now that we've seen that? Maybe just two blocks might give it a little bit of relief, right? So let's say we undo that. Oh, shoot. Uh, yeah, okay, that's fine. It's still in memory. Oh, Mr. Zombie, what are you doing? Maybe just... Uh, uh, we'll try two. We'll try two. So I didn't override my clipboards, as far as I know. Okay, now it actually competes with... Uh, oh, it's bigger than Scar's root. Dang, it's almost as tall as Scar's. So does that look a little ugly and now it's higher? Let's see if we can get the uh, thing right. So one, two, three. One, two, three. Hmm, that could probably work. And then if we count how many lips there are, it's like one, two, three, four, five, meaning that this and this could be our potential pillars, right? All the way down to the ground. So is that is that too absurd or is that about right? What do you think, chat? Is it, is it getting good? Is X building a giant trophy? It looks like it, doesn't it? Want to fill in the hole between and have some hollowed out archways? Oh yeah, like they're just guidelines, you know. Some of you are saying one pillar would do. You might be right. One pillar might work better. Essentia 18. Thank you ever so much for the Prime subscription. Appreciate you using that on me. Peeps, if you're enjoying the stream, be sure to hit that follow button. Be streaming again Friday. Isn't it a little too thin, narrow, weak? We're talking about this bit now. We're talking about like their guidelines, peeps. Guidelines. Like, how, how, how are things looking in proportion to one another, is what I'm asking. I think what I'm going to do is, even though the roof isn't done, I think I'm just going to now sort of just throw it around and come back to it later. Let's, uh, let's prepare this thing for some copy and paste action, right? Actually, this, this could be way quicker, because... Everything I'm doing here is symmetrical, so pretty much from there to there can be copied. And then what direction are we in? North. So if I flip north, and then in theory I should be able to paste. Huh, then we got all of that in, into place. Uh, as you can see, there's some like hangover blocks here and there. We haven't we haven't adjusted the redstone, that's good. It ca it kinda looks like I could I could actually slim the area up top a fair bit, which is kinda what maybe this build needs. I, I just can't believe how many like iterative processes you can go through with these things. It's crazy. At some point you've got to bite the bullet and be like, okay, here we go. The ideas just change so much, like, I didn't factor in height. It's, it's kind of silly just how how many things there are to consider. It really is. So if we if we were to extend all of this down, which we can kind of we can kind of visualize, right, with uh, a couple of commands, so like 
I'm not, I'm not too keen on messing with this stuff too much. Like, I hate the idea of just, like, the server crashing and then, like, everything's lost. But because you've got the undo feature, right, I can stack, like, ten blocks down. And I can do it further than that, right? And then you get a kind of sense of, oh, you know, let's go, uh... Right, so if we were to do that, not so good. But if we were to do it a little bit on one of the sides, maybe it'd be okay. Anyway, let's keep copying this roof around. Do you like Dr. Pepper, says Oscar? I don't. I don't drink uh, sugary drinks. I just drink water and tea. Speaking of which, I've got a cold cup of tea here. I'm not touching that anymore, but I should hydrate. I should get my water on. Mmm! Mmm, that's some good, good water. Remember to hydrate, peeps! Stay hydrated, stay healthy. Okay, so now let's copy from there to here, and in theory I can run the same thing again. Hmm. Yeah, it's uh, hmm. It's kind of missing something that I thought it would have picked up. Oh, I get it. It's because I didn't go higher up with the selection, yeah. I could build this little next bit manually if I wanted to. Hmm. Mouth burp. Excuse me. I got this bit wrong. <laughs> Maybe something did go wrong here. Something went wrong, where it shouldn't have. Where it doesn't make sense that it would. So we can see a lot of symmetry all the way down to the ends, and then somehow... Somehow something went wildly wrong here. Or maybe... These blocks might be a hangover. There might be some hangover blocks, right? From where I was doing stuff before, because that all looks proper. That looks proper. But then... That's in line, then it's free, then it's... So it's like free, free, three, three. How does that go? Oh, now I see the error. Now I see the error. It's, uh... It's like that. It's like that! What? And that's the way it is. Oh dear. There you go. Solve that little piece of the puzzle. This track mid gives me some Brian Evo Eno Eno vibes, says Bass Jester. Yeah, me too. It sounds like uh a scent, an ending, or whatever it's called. So I think I might do away with this. If I'm going to do away with it, let's do away with it on the other side. What happens if we, like, now make some sort of 3x3 three three pillar? Hmm. Does that help? Does that help the look of it? Dude, you are just showing off how you fit in that gap, aren't you? You're like, hey look, I fit in here, I'm an Enderman! You left a gap, I'm in it! It's really hard to say. I think I want to get more of this uh, top bit that's finished, like copied and pasted about. So, let's now take here that corner all the way up to like there. That shouldn't copy any redstone on the inside which is important. So if we flipped, actually we can do a rotate on this one I'm pretty sure. So it's like copy, 
Rotate. No, record. I don't even know what that is. 180. Paste. Yeah, then we got that in place. Maybe I should have expanded it a little higher when I was copying it. Let's try that again. Got that little bit in, nice. It's really hard to say what way to do it. Villa feels really close to the main structure. It does, doesn't it? That's probably not the way to go. Uh oh. The wrong idea then. Do you think making the base thicker would help? Like, what if we were to... Hmm, okay, so... Something like this. I actually find that to be... Surprisingly satisfying. Right, and I just want to I just want to check that we don't break. Yeah, I don't even want to risk it really. I'll do the last bit manually. What do you think? I feel like it just makes it look more structurally sound. Got to do the same thing on the other side though, right? So it's like... Comes out four blocks. Let's go like 18 or 19 even. That shouldn't mess with anything on the inside. Why have I got why have I got mobs spawning in here when it's like not dark? <laughs> right, that looks so much more sound to me that I'm just gonna roll with it. I'm gonna be like that'll do. Steph G20, thank you for the prime. 15, fine! Thank you for seven months and calamity glitter toast, thank you for eleven. Anonymous has gifted a sub to Blue Raven 768. I've been totally zoned out of those noises in the air. I apologize. Some of those were for quite a few minutes ago. Which is maybe a perfect time to unleash. Okay, I'm going to move like here. <laughs> i got to watch it back. <laughs> it's going to look so good. <laughs> it looks great. Ah! Oh man, I love that. <laughs> oh, we actually had actually had a bit of time to uh to use that, a proper time to use it, should I say? Very, very cool. Right, I'm now I'm now feeling like oh you just want to get in the way. I want to be on camera. The world should know my name. I feel like now now that the structure's sound I feel confident that I'll figure out the top and whatnot later on. So I'd like to focus now on what's going on. Actually, that made such a big difference. It really did. I'm off wondering about adding a little extra just over here. Uh, like, so maybe something super simple like um, this. Just going. Just to give it a bit more.
So yeah, anyway, with a lot of that done, I think now it's time to turn our attention down to these areas. Uh, I want to give myself a shovel. And... And then... Uh, I don't know, effect. Haste. Does that give me instant mine? Yeah. But I won't break the sandstone. Don't break the sandstone. Baby, take your time. Don't break the sandstone. Doom, 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 the Mechanical Pal, thank you for the Prime subscription. Greatly appreciated. Can you name the song, chat? It's like a new game that we got. Wow, look at my inventory. Just loads of random janky bits of uh, the old redstone. Now, even even when you're playing in creative, sometimes survival is... You Someone might tune in right now and be like, Are you on the Hermitcraft server? I mean, you could literally think that, seeing this. Right, so then we'll need uh, a pick, I guess. Ah, look at that. So now we go to the haste command. We'll make it better. Oh, oh instant mine. Instant gratification, that's what it is. Dang. Love doing this, even if it's <laughs> not in survival. X, do you not swear? Oh, I do swear, but it gets bleeped out, which is really annoying. So I stopped doing that because, uh, you know, what's the point if someone's just going to bleep it out? Okay, uh, swap again. Why did I take out the other tool, you know? Both tools are useful. So yeah, around here, I'm not going to like get too into that. It's more about... Oh! It's more about just this bit here. Language X, the sound wave hope. Sorry, sorry. See, look, people get angry. What is the point in swearing at all? I don't understand what people get out of it. Um, says General Skywalker. Speaking from a neurological perspective, it is uh, it is known that like certain things happen inside the mind that like release chemicals and whatnot. Like essentially, it's like letting off steam, right? Um, there's like a positive aspect to it. I, I personally just don't because I found it to be a kind of inarticulate way to express myself. Also, also helps then coming into a space like this where it helps to be like family friendly and whatnot. Those two things just kind of happened at a similar time, which was a long time ago as well. <laughs> I've been doing this for a while. Yeah, so we're gonna we're gonna bring it down and have the wastelands kind of down at that height. And if we head up here. Well, uh, we'll do some transforming of the terrain around this space too. I pray this is good with our other hermits though. It's just Corallus really that I need to uh, check in with. I'll uh, probably shoot him a screenshot while we're streaming actually. Just so you can get a feel for it. So yeah, this little bit here doesn't really need too much transforming because it's kind of higher up already. Do you wish Iskow would move his shop? No, I don't mind where it is. I, I feel a bit unfortunate that 
uh, he kind of built it in my area because it's going to get like sort of hidden behind all these other things that I'm building. But you know, that's just part of being on a server. Like it's nice to see other things happen and pop up and you know, the world is lived in and animated because of other people playing. So I don't have a problem with it at all. I just hope he's okay with it because uh, i got plans around here, you know what I mean? Sorry if it's a dumb question, but how do you have her uh, creative mode on the Hermitcraft services, uh, Matt General? Oh, the assumptions! Oh, you are terrible! How could you just assume I'm on Hermitcraft? God, it's not like the title of this stream is Hermitcraft, is it? Yeah, just assuming the worst, always. Calling me a cheat they are. We're not on Hermitcraft, that's the answer. <laughs> I'm only goofing around, my dude. I'm only goofing around. Yeah, I'm not on Hermitcraft. I'm using... Uh, I guess it's more confusing now because earlier we were over where there wasn't part of the Hermitcraft world. But this is just a backup. I'm just using it to figure out where we can actually uh, build and play with our fellow Hermits. Alright, let's uh, now do this. So yeah, we'll tidy up a couple of these. That's one of Coralis' pillar. I literally come right up against it. Um, I could probably shimmy the whole thing like that way by one block, actually. Okay, I need to send a screenshot to Coralis here. Let me do that. I actually just want to take care of that like right now. Oh, and he's messaging me. Oh, cool. Right, uh, now let me get all that back to normal. Oh, dang. Right, I need to I'm just reply to a message. Now I need to get that back on my screen properly. Sorry, I'm doing like, I'm such a great streamer, I'm doing things off camera that you can't see. I'm so clever. GStab74, thank you for subscribing my dude again. Resubscribing, 74 months. Appreciate it. Uh, the Mechanical Pal, thank you for the Prime as well, thank you. X, where are you from? Planet Earth! Oh, God, I've never heard that one before. Right, I'm going to sit down now. If you like ambient music, like this Mount Shrine is pretty good artist, says Kayuma888. Feel free to tweet it at me. I love ambient. I tend to listen to uh, ambient radio stations on Spotify. It's the sort of music that really just suits, you know, you don't need to get into it like regular records, I feel. It's all about the moment with ambient. X, do you like the number 69? Oh, he 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 ha ha, giggle giggle. Oh, 420. Oh, God. Jeez. Jeez. I like the number pi, because I like pies. Okay, leave me alone. Ex you into the uh, band Earth, they're pretty great. Yeah, I've written about quite a few Earth records on my blog, on my music blog, if you want to hear my thoughts and opinions. Stop pretending that you're from our Earth, X, says Josty Fan. Someone's on to me, oh dear. Right, so now we can go back to the thing that we started trying to do a long time ago. We need these blocks that I got right here. And we need the sand. So that's our gradient, and the, I, I want to use the gradient a lot around here. The thing is, though, I, I feel like we need some structure at this level. Maybe, uh, I, I feel like I'm going to go through a gazillion little iterations on this, but... I feel like walling it off might be the wrong approach. Uh, maybe not. So yeah, we need uh hmm. It needs it needs more height is probably in fact that's that's a good point. So if we start where we got somewhere where we do have height, 
then we can get a different kind of uh, take on it all, right? Because it ain't gonna be it ain't gonna be cut sandstone all the way. Is the idea? So this is the way that I do the uh, the gradient. It's just kind of uh, block at a time kind of thing. None of this is going to remain cut, by the way, so it might help me in future when doing this to sort of change it up a bit. And the idea is is that as you go further up, you have more sand too. I'm also starting to ask myself though: is is it necessary to? tell that same story with the blocks here again because this is a different structure to what we did before right and I feel like maybe keeping the cut sandstone isn't the worst idea and maybe it should be about building it out with some of these blocks like on the outside not sure not sure Hmm. See, we've got to explore all the ideas. I just started reading through some of your album reviews on your music blog, and all the nostalgia, nostalgia moments I had. Thanks for the memory lane journey, says G of the F. Awesome, dude. I'm glad uh, glad you got that out of the writing. What were you uh, reading on? I like them on the outside like that. Yes, yeah, says Kathy uh, or Kaif the crab. Yeah, we need to we need to figure out like what we're trying to do with the blocks we're placing. So gradients like that as part of a lean wall, as part of like that bigger structure over there, that works really well. We'll bring that back in other parts of this. But I feel like this is this is way more curated of a structure, right? Like it's it's a border, it's for a garden. We didn't really suss out where to put the entrance to this. So this now, I think, is a good candidate for a walkthrough. I just noticed the punching animation is completely gone. <laughs> Somewhere in there, there'll be a way up to the top. And then I guess like it'd be easy just to have this at the opposite side. It doesn't feel like having it come out anywhere else would make too much sense. Or we could do something novel and put it here. We can use that to maybe make a bit more of a... Yeah, we can do something a little bit more with that wall that way. Then we can put a bunch of stuff up in this area. What are your what are your ideas, chat, for like what we're building here? I feel like we need to maybe introduce some different blocks or do something different here. I'm just I have a look for all the blocks in the game, something might come to me. Have you listened to the new Animals as Leaders album? Personally, I loved it. I've been listening to it. I listened to the uh, single that had a few tracks off of it as well, so kind of getting familiar with it. Um, I, th I feel like those sort of records become more of a mood record, where it's like I'm in the mood for this, rather than sort of grab you and take you into their world, because they're, they're so like focused in on this like particular guitar aesthetic oriented sound. Spruce, someone says. I haven't really introduced spruce anywhere as a like a count oh, did that wrong as a counterpoint to like what we're already doing. I guess I did underground a bit. Oh, I, th I feel like the best idea we've had is this one. Have you tried end stone or quartz? I, I really feel like our palette is kind of limited and those are just bringing something a little too different. Netherite block accents. Oh, I don't know about that. Vines, leaves, maybe some glowberries. You know, having some foliage come over the top would probably... I mean, I do want to put gardens in here.
Mmm, so many ideas. So if we were to grab some, like, oak. A few of these, a few of those, I don't know. Like, they'll be on the they'll be on the inside, but they'll be part of like a garden. I don't quite know how that arrangement works yet. But then having a few Like as soon as we start putting flowers over the edge, I feel like you're gonna lose like the, the occasional one's okay, but you're gonna lose the wall. And the, the, the shape of the wall is really a structure, so just reading chat. Some of you keep going on about slightly oxidated copper. Is that that one? It's surpri surprisingly nice next to the sandstone. I just... I'm not sure if we're dealing with shape or whatnot here. Let's maybe, let's maybe go with what we got in my hand, right? And turn our attention to all of this. So... We might actually end up using this because it's so big, but like. Uh, stripped. So yeah, might just might just like go with this and see what happens. Feels a bit weird when you're only doing like the one block or something, but a bit of that going on. See then with this being an entrance, it's kinda like how do you how do you stitch that on? I think what we might need to do is uh pull it out in order to preserve what we're doing here. So we get a bit of that going on. Oh well, that's weird. Oh, dang it. There you are. Yeah, maybe it might actually be easier just to do some of this manually. This song is like... How long has it been going on for? <laughs> We're listening to some proper drones at the moment. Space music, says Kino. It very much is, isn't it? I do wonder though, I was listening to this and thinking like, what if what if there wasn't that initial suggestion of it being space music? What if you could hear it as something else? In fact, looking at the height of that, maybe I've misjudged this a little bit. That's fine. We can. Uh, we can always. This. This. This side here feels a little better. Let's just get in there and uh, maybe tone it down a little. So yeah, we start to put in uh, these ones then, I guess. It's all right. It. Uh, I think it's going to need more shape down at the bottom. Like, it's also going to need these things, right? Whatever they are, little little blobs of extra block down at that level. Hey X, how did you come up with the idea for a says channel? Says General Skywalker. Well, there's a lot of people talking on the internet about their opinions, and thoughts, and feelings. How dare they, by the way. Ugh, rude. I didn't ask to hear them. Um, <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of people talking about their thoughts and opinions on the internet. And I... I guess I've been, you know, kind of in that space listening to other people's thoughts and opinions. Wanted to share my own, essentially. That's kind of it. That's kind of the bulk of what's going on there.
X, when did you first meet Evil X? If I'm not mistaken, it's episode 350? Or maybe it was 300. I think 350 was the introduction of Evil X on season 3. It could use some azalea trees on the outside. We're a long way from adding azalea trees, my dude. We're just trying to get the basics right here today. Hmm. It does add a lot, but like, there's also a long way up from there. So yeah, then after here you got some of that sandstone coming in. I think what I might do is just uh, deliberately intersperse this a little bit to begin with. Give some opportunities for the uh, birch to kind of reappear. Not too many though. And you kind of don't want them to be like always the next block. So occasionally something a little different. But yeah, this is the process now, just constantly coming in and doing this. So we'll get we'll get like the uh, smooth kind of up to a certain level, I guess. And then you start to put in a bit of sand around here as you get higher up. Although I do feel like I do feel like the structure is important too. Look at how how those cut blocks kind of create an important line here and there. It's going to take me so many more hours just in creative mode to figure all this out. It's bonkers. The colour of Strip Toke is still very dark. The building looks dirty with it. Well, it's kind of it's kind of like been established over there how to do it, right? Maybe it doesn't really suit this one. I don't know. Building is not my strength, but you know you have to just build, 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 really. Also, there's there's this really big problem with building, which is that it always looks better when it's someone else's build, no matter what. It's like a rule. It just will. It will look better if someone else built it. And it kind of holds you back. Like I think, I think maybe maybe it's just like a critical eye. Maybe maybe what I'm talking about is nonsense, just me. But it feels like one's own builds are like the the easiest to critique. Like I couldn't even critique Kralis's build over here. It looks incredible, right? But that's because someone else built it. It, it. Like it enters your mind in another way. That's why this is amazing, says. Bazaar is me. Yeah, you know, I get a lot of people coming in like, oh, I don't feel like my builds are any good and all this kind of stuff. And they're like, if you just had an audience, man, the amount of encouragement y'all give me, I keep going. And then it's like, oh, I get there. And we actually get something done. Right, I feel like it's important that we get like a good portion of this side here just kind of settled at least. So we can step back and see what we're doing here. Start to put in some sand. Hey, you know what? That's actually really good. That That is working for me. <laughs> I'm glad it's working for me because I was getting a little bit worried for a second there. That's nice. It de I can definitely look at this and be like, okay, we need like one or two around there. Um, maybe, maybe a little extra sand sort of nearby over here. But yeah, that's definitely going in the right direction. Now, when we get to this bit though... It starts to, like, like where does the structure then come from? So, I left in those strips there. They don't particularly feel like they belong. Let's try, let's try removing this now. So, all of that goes. All of this goes. 
Maybe we'll leave it at that level there. Let's get sand at the top. Got that going on. Um, sandstone here and there. Then a bit more down at this level. Yeah, there's there's something to that. Okay, and then the rest can just be smooth. Maybe one or two more birch down the bottom here. I mean, it kind of works. It kind of works, and I don't know why. But the something about these little blocks here kind of make me think... Maybe, maybe we have a little light lip at this level. This gives it some sort of solidity. Uh, maybe actually we continue that here. Yeah, and maybe what we actually want is that at different heights. So then, then it tells a bit more... Well, I don't know if it tells a story per se. What am I thinking? Um, I want that there we'll read this noise in the air in just a second peeps then at that level then at this level am I doing that right? I think I am and somehow that just, just to me feels like it's got a bit more design to it and maybe even that now needs to inform the shape that's above, because it gets all a bit wonky around here, doesn't it? Um, hmm, we're going to have to rethink that whole corner. Yes, it's Bruno! Is here with Cheers and Biddies saying, Hey X, what are your thoughts on the creative and... Oh, sorry, creatine and pre-workout. Been getting back into the gym, just ordered some, but want to see your take. Yeah, um, also, Lupus Canis, thank you for 15 months. Ren Shadowblade, thank you for the Prime. Greatly appreciated. Yeah, Bruno, um, creatine has been like really well researched and in my opinion, from all I've learned about it, it seems like a, a very good, healthy, you know, I don't, I don't think there's even really any risks associated with it. A ton of upside to gain from using it and uh, it, in general, I think creatine is a really great one. Um, I mean, if you're getting back into the gym and you've had experience before, then it, I think it is for experienced lifters. Uh, you know, when when you're a newbie, when you're starting out, it's probably not great to like go in all ham and and try all the different stuff. You know, you got to find out if it's for you or not first. Um, but I think creatine is totally worth it, and I have been ever since I've used creatine. I swear by it because literally the day. Like the next, well, let's say day, like I had a week of loading and then when it came back round to the reps that I were doing, I think it was pull-ups, um, in fact everything, but the first ones were pull-ups, right, and I literally felt more reps. I got like an extra two or three that you would just not get out of like a week of working out. It just, it clearly came from the creatine as everyone said it would and uh, and so I was I was just like, yeah, this is, this is great, like I'm going to uh, continue using this. Now, I feel like I've almost got it. Like, there might be just something missing. Like, I like that we've got this lip at this level. Maybe, hmm. We've sustained the lip. I don't know. Does that work, peeps, do you think? I feel like it's missing a detail or something. Jobski, thank you for gifting subs to Duality, G of the F, and Cozy Deer. If you heard your name being read out loud, be sure to say thanks in the chat. We always appreciate the gifting of the subs. Thank you, my dude. Greatly appreciated. Anyway, hopefully I answered your question, Bruno. Just uh, remember, if you're getting back into it, consistency. That's the word. Turn up every day and do the thing. You know, obviously, if you're injured or something happens, you know. But uh, the main thing is... Don't listen to that voice, you know. Oh, not today. Can't be bothered. I'll skip it. Or whatever. That holds you back. Yeah, I think I'm going to basically take this shape here, copy it round to the sides, 
I feel like maybe it should just inform something over at this level, but I don't really want to put those blocks in there. We've also got this thing coming down, so what happens when that moves through this space? Kind of ends up there, right? And then maybe... Does that work, peeps? I feel like it would work if it were one less. So if I come here and do that, and then put the blocks like this. And then just basically push all of that back. Uh, not really sure I like any of that. <laughs> Funny. Anyway, I feel like I'm getting to that point where I can just overdo it to no end. Yeah, I reckon what needs to happen here is probably more of a case of like... Just moving it in by one. Uh, we got Vev Hera here for five months. And Big Boy Junior 005 with the Prime. Bev Harris says, just wanted to pop in and say I've been loving the build palette that you've been going for so far this season. Good to hear it, good to hear it. Thanks for letting me know, because as you can see, I'm literally working with it right now. So that's some uh, encouragement right there. Yeah, look at that. I, I feel like moving it in one was probably the uh, better way to go. Let's get on top of that. So much to do with this build, but what an amazing stride we've made today with where it's going. I don't know how much more of this I'll show of me doing, uh, or, like on camera, and how much of it will just be done off camera, but dang, like progress. Serious progress. I feel like much of this tower here is now complete once we apply the principle the whole way around. It'll get there. Um, what else is going on? Top bit is kind of probably more finished than it looks. I've got to suss out what's going on with that, fix up the roof shape, but then it's copy and pasting. Like there's like basically three sections, right? That, this, the corner, well that's free, and then fourth would be the roof. Down at the bottom, figuring out this little bit here might be a bit tricky. I'm being raided for the fourth time by Zombie Cleo today. Posing Raccoon, by the way, thank you for three months of support. Raid number four. What is that cool animation in my chat? Like zombie arms coming out of the ground. That's so cool. That's so cool. Welcome all the raiders. I'm not on Hermitcraft. I'm on a backup of the world. Figuring out where this thing's going to go. And then designing it and blah, 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 blah. Um, yeah, if any of you have suggestions you want to tweet at me and like give me some inspiration and ideas. I'm struggling with this here. I, I feel like we're going to have a gardeny area on the inside, but it's going to be a bit more low-key. Don't feel like this coming over works. Maybe going with this on the outside is okay, but we've used that trick here. So I feel like we need something that's a structure. And maybe once we remove more of the sandstone or cut sandstone from this build, it might make sense just to keep it cut sandstone. But it, it, needs, it needs something. And do you know what? Maybe it needs a few of these on the outside. I, I, I like this block a lot. Like it adds a little shape, but it's also a wall, so it, I don't know. It, it might enforce the idea that this is actually a wall, right? Anyway, um, yeah, if you want to share any ideas with me, Twitter is the place to do so, my friends. Guess what, though? I'm, uh, I'm wrapping it up right here for today. That's all I've got for you. Gonna have a bit of an early evening. Got some jobs and whatnot to do. Zombie says, it's my hoarder mode. It's awesome, Cleo. I like it. So all you raiders coming over, you now got to, you now got to go somewhere else. Don't forget to hit that follow button though. God, look at me, I'm a great streamer. Reminding you to hit that thing. Gosh. Right. Uh, who are we gonna raid? Who are we gonna raid? Who are you gonna call? Ghostbusters. Let's raid uh, Foxy today. I'm gonna send you over to Foxy for some Bedrock Minecraft. Well, that's it, peeps. Uh, thank you to everyone who subscribed, resubscribed, donated, and cheered. Thanks to all the peeps gifting subs. Thank you to my mods, my Patreons. I'll see you all soon. Take care. You can hit that raid button. Bye-bye.